It's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I haven't seen it like this for probably 10 or 15 years. Ken Yergler is an instrument lead at Laramie River Station. Part of what he does is monitor the water coming in and out of the Gray Rocks Reservoir. It's about 200 cubic feet per second right now, which is quite a bit of water still. When you figure that last summer we were looking at inflows of uh, about 14 to 15 cubic feet per second coming into the reservoir. The reservoir was built for the power plant in the late 1970s. It's fed by the Laramie River, and everything worked fine for more than 20 years until a major drought hit. And it's kind of sad to sit it in, up there and watch the monitors and see the levels going down all the time. In 2004, when we started losing level, we didn't think we were going to be able to come back again. We thought we were going to be on uh, rancher water or something for the rest of the life of the plant. When plant manager Brian Larson talks about rancher water, this is it. The plant was forced to buy well water from local farmers and ranchers to keep the plant running. All the water that comes into the Laramie River Station has to move through these primary contact basins before going into the plant. The water is pumped up through the middle of this basin and mixed with lime and other chemicals to get rid of silica. Now the well water Laramie River Station had been using had a lot of silica in it. The Gray Rocks water doesn't. Well, the water treatment plant was designed to run on Gray Rocks water. And so when you use the chemicals and you treat it, it's a lot less expensive since it was designed that way. And so it's going to save us a considerable amount of money. The site this spring was a long time coming. Good snowfall over the winter and lots of rain this spring filled the reservoir to the brim. This year we're up a little over 40 feet from what we were in January, which is a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, we went from 40 percent reservoir level to 100, a little over 100 percent right now. It's just been bank to bank for the last two to three months, which is just amazing. At the Laramie River Station, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.